Uh, g'day guys, 2003 Carrio with a broken clutch pedal box. Um, it's very difficult to know when to make these videos. I'm about to now pull the box out. Um, and it's very difficult for me because I want to give you the best content, but obviously the way I do it and um, without having someone filming, uh, it's very, very difficult. Now, it's quite a straightforward job as in you release, the first thing you do is take the steering out. So undo the battery, okay, undo the shrouds around the steering. Okay, there's two bolts that hold the steering up here. Okay, those ones. All right, you undo them, and there's two nuts holding it to the bottom of the cradle, which is here. Okay, and once you disconnect the battery and the wiring from the steering, and there's a little plug that goes up here, the mobilizer, steering comes out very, very quickly, like one minute, two minutes, just a matter of minutes and it's out, right? The issue here is to get to the top bolt, which is there, the top nut for the cradle, which you can see in the center of your screen now, I undid it from underneath, but uh, there was some paint on the bolt and I knew that it's slotted so basically this cradle which is coming out now has got a slot on it but um, I persisted to take the bolt out so you might be able to do it without doing this okay you undo the nut sorry on this top stud from under here okay you the, the issue here is the air conditioning duct okay this duct so there's a little bolt that holds it over here. As you can see from underneath the Phillips head there. I undid it very easily, but it's not gonna go anywhere and you can't get your hand up to undo that number 12 bolt, which goes onto that stud there in the center of your screen there. Okay, so what Kia's has done is there's a slot on top. So it goes up there and the nut goes on but I've chosen to take it off and I'm quite thankful for that because there's not much room to wiggle around here because of this duct. Now, what's happened here, the clutch cables sort of damaged itself, but the pedal box, that's the first time I'm taking it out. Okay, the pedal box um, is damaged and I'll show you where. So I think people are replacing clutches for this issue obviously you disconnect the clutch switch okay but the issue is here you can see it's given way there okay there's the clip there that when it came in yesterday it fell out so if you're adjusting your clutch cable on your Kia and the next day you're adjusting it again what's happening is it's bending this metal up here and you need a new pedal unit now i didn't know when to make the video because i mean i can make a video and say take this off or i can take it off and say you know i i took these off it's much easier to see it from here so these are the two studs holding the bottom of the steering column mark it mark it on the spline the steering column and take it off the spline as well okay and um, here's the four nuts that go, the studs come through the body. Uh, one, two, three, four, to undo the pedal box. Now, while you're doing that, obviously you have to disconnect the clutch cable from the hook on top. Okay, so obviously, there it is there. That's where the clutch cable sits on. Obviously, um, what you need to do is uh, loosen your clutch cable on your gearbox entirely. In this case, the clutch cable is damaged. Where is it? There it is there. Well, I think it's damaged. Did I order it for nothing? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's sheared off as well. Okay, it's sheared off there. So, um, yeah, what I did was take this trim off okay with my trim tools the blue and the red and then obviously take this fascia off and they've got these Honda style clips so be careful they're very very tight and sharp and then I took off the 
two screws there and there to remove all that. Not a big deal at all. And then the dash is just screwed into plastic. I mean, look at that. Just screwed into plastic. Take these connectors off. They're very tight and there's not much wiggle room with the loom. I've actually unplugged the loom from these clips here. As you can see, just to, just to give me that because it wouldn't move and you don't want to damage them. Um, and then I got to that top top thing now you, as I said you can get there it is there you can get that nut off okay which this is where it, this slides over so technically if there was a factory manual here you would leave the nut on there and slide this thing on the only thing is that the vent complicates it so look try don't remove the dash get up from here okay you can see it there, don't confuse it with the accelerator one. That's over there, see? That's that one. And what they've done is they've put a little notch. Um, where is it? Here. So you can get your finger in from this notch. When it's in the car, it obviously looks very different. But you can just undo it with a tiny ratchet. Get a ratchet in, even though the vent's right there. The vent's right across there. You get get the ratchet in and loosen it and undo it with your finger, and then it stops on the paint on the stud. And I chose to remove it, and I'm happy I did because this was quite a, a battle to get out. But otherwise, you can see the cradle in, in its in its design there. And See, these are the videos I never make because you just want to give good content. But, you know, for you, for those of you that, you know, want a step-by-step -step thing, I'm not your guy. I've said it before. But um, there's the steering. I've kept it in that upside-down position because I needed to get to the bolt, right? If you go and spin that steering wheel, you'll destroy the clock spring for the airbag and for the steering controls if it's got it. No steering controls, still a clock, clock spring. So if I now lift that wheel up and let it turn, I, I screw the clock spring up. These are the parts, okay? This is the new cradle. There's the, the horrible design uh, for the clutch. It's, it's very, very weak. Just got, you know, they, I can't believe they've kept the same design, but there you go. And um, that's it. Oh, wow. Look what they've done. Check this out, guys. Ha, ha, ha. Look, that one hasn't got a slot in it. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming it's the right part. I'll double check it. But that hasn't got a slot in it. So lucky I took that nut out. So there you go, guys. I'm glad I made the video now. And that one does. It's got the slot. So if you buy a new replacement and it hasn't got that slot, you definitely need to take your dash out okay anyway hope it helps i'll wrap it up there and continue with the job obviously to do the clutch cable it runs down low here um you you uh we, we normally would use a hoist but this car's stranded where it is i have an option now to reassemble everything steer the car and push it down here onto a hoist lift it up change the clutch cable or jack the car up safely very high on stands and feed the clutch cable through before i wrap it up i'll just jesus just take a look okay where it's going so some cars there it is there okay and there it is there it helps obviously if you push the grommet out from the inside when you're undoing the cable and uh, I doubt, I doubt if I just pull on this, will it come out? No, it's routed somewhere. There it is there. Okay. It's held on on a plastic clip down here under the heater hose. So if I'm daring enough, just have a feel here, pop it out of its clip. Okay, the clip, the clip has a, um, there it is there, the clip is, where is it, it's like someone's done this job before, why is the clip just sitting there, give me a second guys, alright, well, I'll have to get under here later and have a look at what, what this clip's doing. It's 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 just, I've got to pop the clip off 
and pull the clutch cable out so you don't really need a hoist if you take maybe you want to take the airbox off off the throttle body and deal with it that way you can see the clip is over here okay and it's a very simple matter of just unclipping it from its base there it is there can you see it there there it is right there okay and you just clip it off from its base pop it off and the clutch cable will come out it's it looks like it's clipped onto the intake manifold that's that's what's going on so i'll try and get you a better shot of the clip see it you want to unclip it from the bottom see the round thing and you want to you want to get some pliers under there you want to do it with your hands and pop that out and then feed the cable through otherwise remove the air box and all that whatever makes it more comfortable and uh, easier is better beware of the pedal box uh it could be quite sharp and stuff like that okay hope it helps bye